Some of the most beautiful art in history has come from Asia. From China to Thailand, Japan to Vietnam. Filled with its beautiful mountain ranges and stunning architecture, it is easy to see how some of the most beautiful images have come from the Far East. On my recent trip to the Chicago Art Institute, I noticed a lot of similarities to the art we have discussed in class. For example, the Dragon King from the book The Monkey and the Monk. In this particular piece, I really enjoyed the use of color to create an intimidating statue. You feel its presence almost immediately when you walk in the room, even though the statue was barely two feet tall. Some of my favorite sculptures were of the Great Sage Monkey. Those sculptures were the most detailed and lively pieces of art there. The most detailed piece of art was a massive stone tablet that depicted the typical life of the samurai. It was so detailed you were able to see the culture through the artwork. The stone tablet really reminded me of the Fukuzawa readings for a few reasons. It preached discipline and obedience, and it was a perfect example of an artist crafting something delicately by hand. One of the things I didn't like about the Art Institute was that they didn't have a lot, if any, paintings. The thing I enjoyed the most about our readings was the vivid imagery of beautiful Asian landscapes, some of my favorite being in Baoshou. At the art museum, they didn't have a single landscape. I was hoping to see rolling mountain ranges covered in a moonlight on a misty night or a beautiful cherry blossom tree hanging above a still stream. Those types of paintings resonate most in my life. Most of the art was centered on sculptures or handmade ceramics. It failed to convey the plight of the common man. It also was not as visually appealing or relatable to some of the artwork in our readings. The other issue I had with the art museum is that it was very mainstream. If I had to guess, I would say 60 to 70% of the art at the museum was a depiction of Buddha. The thing I enjoyed about this semester is that we focus more on one's personal journey in the scheme of life. I would have enjoyed seeing a painting of John Hu in the bowels of the ship, clinging to life on his journey to Europe, or of a painting of a scene of one of Baosho's many poems. But instead, the museum was filled with sculptures of the most prominent gods and deities. <laughs> 